you call it cheap lice or not, that is interesting, but still this $40 is about 10 years average. So it's not necessarily very cheap price. Well, it def what is the definition? It's of course relatively much cheaper compared to the $147. But uh, uh, certainly this uh, low price reflects the very, let's say, uh, clashed uh, economic situation in all countries, I mean, especially in OECD countries. So it is uh, sometimes I was asked, is this good for the consumer? But actually, consumer are suffering with a very, let's say, slowdown or uh, decline of the economic situation. So not necessarily uh, uh, consumers are happy simply with uh, the cheap oil prices. The president of OPEC said today that production would continue to be slashed until prices stabilise, but we know that that doesn't necessarily work. So do you think the parties involved are taking appropriate measures to stop these extreme variations in the price of oil? Well, st st stabilising price, uh, to stabilise the price, two things. The, the one is the supply and demand should match. And demand is slowing down or declining every every month these days. So, so that is a very difficult situation. But on the other hand, uh, this situation has a very big impact to the future, especially if the, the supply is delayed or postponed. So we, th we, we hope that s at some time demand will go up again because the economy will come up back to the growth trajectory anyway in one or two years. But if that is coming and if there is not enough uh, supply capacity, we will have problems. So maintain to the mid to the long term uh, future the pr uh, investment. That, that is the very important uh, thing at this moment. The Saudi oil minister said at the meeting 75 US dollars is about the right price or a fair price for a barrel of oil. If there's agreement from producing and consuming nations, why not just set the price? The price is de determined uh, by the demand and supply in the market. So, so it's not necessarily uh, we can artificially set the price. In th that, that is always uh, the reality. That, that, that market will certainly uh, change uh, almost daily. Because but, but if that's in the interests of the global economy, surely it's worth doing. Yeah, well, that's right. Uh, we are thinking that uh, the better functioning market is the best way to allocate resources. So how to make the better functioning? Because, of course, we don't need, uh, we don't like volatility. Volatility certainly uh, gives a bad Im impact for the investors and consumers. 